Hello fellow maulers, this is Ron's Trains and More, back with another video here. Just thought I'd uh, do a little update video of my Walther's HO Scale Water Street Freight Terminal. I think in my last video I didn't have the dock glued on or anything, so I've got it weathered up, I've got the dock glued on, it's pretty much all done except for the lights and the roof i got to put on it. But, uh, I painted the whole inside of this part here black black, you know, so the LED lights won't bleed through that uh, plastic. Yeah, you definitely don't want that. Most of that plastic's translucent, so. But once you paint it flat black, it's fine, you know. This part here, I'm not going to paint flat black in there. It won't have any bulbs. I'm going to put them actually under the roof, under the, shining down on the dock, so that'll look pretty cool. But yeah, I went to the Hobby Lobby and got those, uh, Woodland Phoenix disc plug lighting system. I got a couple of those little LED lights. It says they're warm white, so they should look pretty good. But they're uh, pretty nice bulbs. Yep, and I got this uh, switcher actually yesterday. SW1500, that's an Athern uh, blue box. It's a great switcher. Boy, what a nice paint scheme. That was always one of my favorite railroads too, the seaboard system. You got CSX underneath there, it's kind of neat. I don't know if there's old lights and engines. It's a dummy for right now, but I'm going to make it power and probably put DCC in it. Anyways, back to the warehouse. So I took and I sanded the dock here, that's real good. I sanded it and weathered it. Chalk powders, this is all chalk powders I used. These barrels, they actually came in a kit. I painted them with acrylic red and then I sanded them to make them look like the paint's chipped and stuff. And then you glued a few figures on here. You got this guy here, I guess he's opening that crate. <laughs> Weathered the crate, little chalk dust. And these guys lifting a heavy crate. Yep, I'm pretty proud of this kit. It turned out really good. Yeah, I painted all these rafters uh like a flat green color i can't remember what color it was sort of like an olive man i don't know i just painted flat green i think it was a whole lot better though but uh i painted these palettes here with a tester's tan flat tan and then i weathered them the chalk powders black chalk powders those actually came in the kit too those palettes of course, the figures and all that you gotta buy separately. But I need I need a little forklift. If anybody's got just like a little forklift, I'd be interested in uh, buying it from you, or maybe trading you something for it. I want to glue it right there. But I'll weather the uh, bay doors here a little more, because naturally they'd be a little more weathered, since that's where the people and the forklifts go through. But I glued this little dog down here. He's kind of cool. Yeah, he's actually peeing on the wall there. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, uh, man, it's just amazing the detail you can put into this stuff, you know. Well, I said when I built any more Walters kits, I was really going to detail them, and I am. I'm actually making a nature scale switching layout right now. So this kit is going to be really useful here soon on my switching layout. I'll have a video of my little switching layout here soon, but I believe this guy here on the end, he's actually relaxing on a bench while these guys are working, so naturally he's probably the boss. <laughs> That's about how it goes, ain't it? Weathered up that ramp there. Yeah, this whole dock's been sanded like really good, and then I weathered it with black chalk powder. All that on the building is white chalk powders and stuff a little bit of black and uh man this thing this just turned out really good i'm pretty proud of this kit next i want to do the new river walters coal mine kit or diamond coal mine kit whatever it's called they made two i like i'm wanting to get the one for the two track i think it was the diamond coal mine weathered the top a little bit here Yep. Yeah, really See, that's one thing a lot of modelers will forget, you know, uh, you do these building kits and you want to light them up, and then the light bleeds through that plastic, you know, you have to paint the insides flat black. 
Once you do that, they'll be just fine, man. But uh, I tell you, really, the hardest part to this kit right here is the windows. I mean, it's got a ton of windows you got to go in, but after that, it goes together fairly well. I'll do another video soon when I get it on my switch and layout once the roof's on it and everything, but I just kind of wanted to do a before and after update video, you know. Here's this side of it. It's chalk weathered. Just got a couple of the cars and trucks sitting here just for effect, you know, for the video, but... I weathered the back a little bit. I painted those rafters green. All the doors have been painted flat black. Yeah, there was a little bit of a gap down there. I don't know how that happened, but it's all right. I fixed it. Glued a bunch of that green stuff on the bottom. You can't even tell now. And it made it look better. That looks awesome. But anyways, I just thought I'd give you guys a look at a little update video of my Water Street Freight Terminal. This is my display case I've showed in several videos. Yeah, I'll go over here again right quick, I guess. Why not? I got a little... I got other things here besides trains. You know, me and my girlfriend, we kind of collect uh, pop culturist type stuff, you know, like the old VHS tapes, you know. I've got tons of those things sealed. You got, uh, got the old Ghostbusters back there. There's Mario. Collecting vintage Hot Wheels, too. I got a lot of those. Those there are, I guess, timetables, or whether it's from the historical society or something. I just thought they were neat. They got the railroad logos on them. And I think that's an old man to a steam switcher back there. It runs, but I don't know what I'll ever do with that thing. It's kind of neat. Got all these coal hoppers. I've actually got enough southern ones and NW ones for a coal train now. I'll make a video of it running here soon. I'll probably, most all of them are rapid discharge, five bay. Yeah, I'm wanting to get some more of those if any of you guys have any of the southern or NW or, or even NS ones. I got that one, I'll probably throw in with them. It'll look pretty cool. Yeah, I've got a couple old beer cans in here. I don't know why, I just like old beer cans and bottles and things are kind of neat you know i mean look at that can that is so cool that's probably from the 60s i'd say maybe 70s it's got the old vintage top on it you know how they did them the old aluminum cans got my hot wheels railroad chassis systems back there those are actually kind of valuable now i didn't know that that hot wheels railroad stuff just went up in value got my garfield cut back there that's from like 71 I think it's pretty old. Even that eraser right there, Ghostbusters, that's from when the movie came out. The 80s, it's pretty old. That Hot Wheel there, that's from the 80s. So is that vet back there. And this is my Kato. I'm pretty proud of this engine. That's my Kato SD45 Norfolk Southern High Hood. I've got a lot of work in that engine. Now, I can't take credit for the weathering on the trucks and fuel tank and all that because someone else done that. But all the rest I did, the MU cables and coupling levers, I did all that. Right now, the only problem with it, it's DC only. I'm wanting to put a Tsunami 2 sound decoder in it and a good speaker. So that'll happen here pretty soon. And I'll run it with all my other NNS and Southern stuff. But uh, I'm hoping it's DCC ready. If anybody knows, I'd be interested in that. If Kato SD 45s were DCC ready. But yeah, I'll film a coal train running here soon. I got quite a few coal hoppers. Here's the second shelf. I got my Days of Thunder movie cup right there from Hardy's. I always loved that movie. That's a great movie. I got a lot of stuff on that movie, Days of Thunder. And that's my old 1980s stomper I had since I was a kid. There's an old vintage troll back there. I think that's my girlfriend. And I got these old Atlas controllers in here and stuff. I just thought these boxes were cool. You know, you just don't see them boxes like that anymore. It's so neat. 
even like that one right there, Atlas. Track, you know, the little piece of track you can buy in a box. It's still, still got the KB Toy sticker on there. So cool. A lot of stuff like that. And that spike, I actually just painted that. I painted that with a 18 karat gold paint pen. Looks pretty neat. Looks better than old rusty brown color. Got my little Tonka truck back there. Yeah, we collect kind of like vintage toys too, me and my girlfriend. It's kind of fun, something we do together. Got my World's Fair beer can back there. Kind of cool because the World's Fair ain't too far from where I live, over in Knoxville. Got my Athens Southern Railway box car. I was trying to custom do it. I painted the trucks brown on it and I was going to put grab irons and all on it. Pretty nice though. I might just get the tangent one though. There's some of my Live Bay Rapid Discharge Hoppers, my southern ones. And there's my Atherin NNS ready to roll with Tsunami 2 sound in it. And the shelf right here, the third shelf. We've got my Earnhardt Sundrop bottle back there and a couple vintage little toys and packs. There's another one of those Atlas vintage boxes. That's all life like Burlington Northern right there. Uh, Pennsylvania GG1 Hallmark ornament. I kind of collect those too. There's another Hot Wheels Railroad locomotive. I think that one might be kind of rare. I got my vintage, oh no, that's O scale uh, hospital kit that my daughter won at the train show out here at the airport that we had. And uh, there's some of the cars that go with the Hot Wheel Railroad locomotives. Polar Express Cup, my girlfriend got me. There's my rare Taco Golf Mobile in Ohio. I actually got that for sale if anybody's interested in it. Or I'll trade it. Anybody's got something they want to trade. It's a pretty rare engine. I don't know really the backstory on it, but I do know that it's rare. And it's hard to find. If anybody's interested in that, they can message me, though. Got my Athens Family Lines caboose, all weathered up. Looks pretty cool. Some more of my vintage Hot Wheels. That Rubik's Cube, it's actually vintage, too. Yeah, this stuff. I love this stuff. But anyways, that's my display cabinet. I don't know if I've ever really showed it kind of like in detail, you know. I'm getting ready to move, so. I'm kind of staying with somebody right now, my uncle. And uh, I'll be able to build a pretty big layout here soon, hopefully. Maybe. We'll see, I don't know. I want to build a little switching thing now. I just think that's going to be so fun with DCC. You know, that's a good thing about DCC is you can do things like that. You know, switching cars and whatnot. That'd be a pretty good little factory to do it with, too. Yeah, this is my other shelf here. It's got a bunch of train boxes here. Most of those are actually full. Yeah, just different stuff here. Some auto racks. There's my Atlas Clinchfield MP38. I might get rid of that too if anybody's interested in it. It runs good. It's got a decoder in it. It's the yellow and gray one. There's the number if you want to look it up. But yeah, you know, somebody's got something they want to trade. I, I might trade that for a, like a Southern locomotive or an NW or Norfolk Southern locomotive. You know, preferably a high hood. Maybe, but anybody's interested in that, they can mess with me. I'd probably trade it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm making an HO scale switching layout right now. I'm probably going to have to use these switches, code 100s, but yeah, they'll work. I'll clean them all up, solder them, sand them. They should work. Cause, I mean, I've got a lot of them. Plus, i got a Y switch. But, uh, the Kato track's what I'm really wanting to use. I only have two switches so far in that though, but I got a lot of straights. I may just use the Kato. I mean, two switches, they wouldn't be bad. I'm gonna switch cars out with that. But I'm probably gonna use the Co 100 because I got more switches in it. Because I wanna make a run around track, you'd have to have that. And then 
Oh, it'd be a pretty nice little switch and layout. Yeah, I got this yesterday too. These are actually uh, some Southern Railway cars. I got them now. They're kind of neat. Roundhouse. Coal hopper and a high cube. That's actually a ballast hopper, I think. I'll probably use it for coal, though. I love Southern Railway. Anything Southern Railway, you guys got any of that stuff, I'd be willing to swap or trade with you or something. If you got any Southern Railway or Norfolk Southern stuff. But, uh,. I got a Southern Railway calendar I want to show y'all. I'll get it out one day and I'll show you guys once I get in the frame. But anyways, I just thought I'd give you guys a little update video on my Walters Water Street Freight Tunnel kit here. And then I, I'm glad you guys, you know, I did my little ramble there about all my stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to show you guys uh, how it's turning out. I really like it. It's turning out good. Anyways, I appreciate all y'all watching, commenting, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Anyways, this is Ron's Trains More. Out.